Hey everybody, it's the Musical Gamer again. Welcome back to Let's Play Artanelico 2. We're gonna go back to Bomberin because Skycat told us she had some stuff for us. So let's go get some, what I'm assuming is going to be new recipe cards. Since we have Luca in the party, we should do this now. Yeah, we've kind of noticed that, Luca. You kind of really screwed up that roll cake last time. But apparently Skycat has the answer. Soup! Hmm, is soup that easy to make? You can make soup just by melting miso in hot water. That's not soup. <laughs> it's miso soup. And soup is a great dish in a meal, as well as a perfect relaxing meal. It's true. I am a very, very uh, strong advocate of soup. I love soup. But a recipe for warm soup has been added. All right, well then we should, uh, let's try, uh, let's try making this. <laughs> I'm worried. Yeah, I would be too, Croy. I would be too. Either way, we've got a new recipe card, so let's give it a try. Synthesize. And... I don't know what the... I think that means we can make it. Uh, oh no, we can't. We don't have a Pippin Kuit. Never mind. Alright, we'll have to make that at another time. Alright then, well, since we can't make any soup, darn, we will go to the world map. And we will head straight to the Iron Plate Desert, which is our next port of call. Hopefully, we can make our way through the desert and find some way to cure Cloche of whatever ails her. We don't know why she passed out again. We just gave her the Dequility Crystal a couple videos ago. So now we have to worry about this. And welcome to the Iron Plate Desert, everybody. Yeah, it doesn't really look much like a desert, does it? Well, it's just basically all steel, but... Then again, the region of Metafaus doesn't really have a lot of, um, topography, I guess is the best way to put it. But on a spare note, we do not have any, uh, IPDs to worry about. So, we can just explore, grab some items, listen to the awesome music, and, ooh, there's a chest. What's in this? 300 leaf. Mm, let's go... Oop! I was gonna say let's go all the way to the right again, but unfortunately we have to do this first. Oh, look at these two things. They're new! And we can use some of Luca's magic. Let's start. Let's sweep them away. Eh, uh, I don't even... What are they called? I don't even... Uh, Sesame Palms! I, oops, I... Damn it. Ha! <laughs> I, uh, I didn't mean to do that. My thumb slipped. Feeling good. I believe in you. I'm ready. Uh, okay. How about we do that again? Let's start. Sink our hearts. We only have one Ravenhill to worry about, so perhaps worrying about Psyche and harmonics isn't that important. We should just focus You're on so building that burst gauge. Feel. And this should kill them. Yep, there we go. 200 damage, done deal. So those are sesame palms. Wow, that was awesome. Uh, okay, cool. If you noticed, I haven't really been that um. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That uh. Intense, or uh, ooh, a blade ring. I think that's a weapon for Leglius. Uh, I haven't been that consistent in. Yes, it is. In uh, naming the new enemies as they come along, that's because it kind of doesn't matter in this game. Uh, I think I'm going the right way. And to be completely honest, I do not want to go the right way. I want to explore more. But yes, uh, the it doesn't really matter so much in this game what enemies you fight because it all kind of ends the same. Because of the guard command, you can block yourself from pretty much anything. And Ravenstail Song Magic is extremely powerful in this game. Thanks to the um, the the, the burst tech, the two Ravenstails, all that other stuff. So it doesn't really matter so much. Oops. Uh, can we? Well, this would probably be good enough. Yeah. Most most enemies aren't really going to be able to stand up to us. 
Rank B. Uh, who is the one actually, now that I think about it? Oh god, no wonder I'm not doing too good. Uh, I should be, probably be using Croy. And well, let's have Leglius back out here. Let's have the men take charge for a little bit. As I keep picking up some treasure. And a harmonizer. That's a crafting equipment. It's a crafting material, I should say. Uh, we got some attractive wear. Let's give that to Coconut. Or, actually, wait, no. Let's give that to Legolas since we're using him right now. Yeah, that'll, that'll work nicely. The Iron Plate Desert is by far the largest area we've been in so far. So exploring it might take some time. 250 leaf. Two colored twigs. So eventually I'll probably start cutting out some battles. Because we have a lot of ground to cover. I'll probably start cutting them out just like that. Uh, there's one all the way to the left. Let's check this area. And grab this chest. And get a fruit drop. So I will meet you guys all the way back on the left side of the screen where those two entrances are. Because that's where I'm going to want to go explore next. See you guys in just a second. Okay, I'm back. Let's start with the uh, right pathway. And, oh, geez, this... Oh, I keep forgetting just how massive this place can be. And a bunch of chests over here. Three fruit drops. Butterfly ball. And a cure -A. Nice. I will certainly not complain about that. And while I'm thinking about it, let's show off Smiley Girl. Or the hidden enchant... Uh, song magic because we haven't seen this yet and we've worked hard to unlock it so we might as well use it like right now go smiley girl go go play tag you're it oh my god that thing is just terrifying oh that was awesome oh oh coconut leveled up uh, we got a bunch of items <laughs> that was dealt with really quickly Oh, boy. What is up over here? Some more chests. Three curalays and a... Ah, Pippin Kuit. So we can go make that soup if we wanted to. Though I'm not going to now that we're here in the Iron Blade Desert already. That's a little bit too much of um, a uh, <laughs> run around for my liking. So we'll just keep going. Then the fact that we're actually almost done with fighting all of the battles in this area. That would also be relatively annoying. 200 leaf. And a beast's tooth. Alright, I believe that is every area. Yep, that is every area. So let's make our way back over to the right. And we've only got a few battles left, so... This shouldn't take too long. Oh, wow, I can... Oh, I was just about to say I am running straight across the place without anybody stopping me. Nope. That changed real quickly. Alright, time to kill these things. And launch the song magic, because that is more than enough. Yeah. We're, uh... We're pretty strong. Uh, well, looks like there's still probably one or two more battles left in this place. Ah, here's the save point. Let's rest. Whew, alright then. Forward ho. I mean, what's the worst that could possibly happen? Oh, we found another chest. That's what we that's what happened. Uh, wait a minute. Excuse me. Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, this way. That's right. <laughs> Oops. Made a... Should have made a left at Albuquerque. It's no good. This is another dead end.
Uh, Coconut, you're not looking so hot. Hey, Coconut, are you all right? What does it look like, Croy? She's like sweating like a dog over there. Yeah, I'm okay. Let's take five. Again? How many times have we rested now? Sorry, but Coca's n Coconut's not feeling well. Anyway, how long are you gonna tag along with us? Huh? Me? No matter how long you're with us, I won't let you into the Grand Bell. You're so paranoid. Jeez. I bet that stubbornness is the reason you're still not married. <laughs> Leglius not amused. Amory, don't say that. Mr. Leglius, I want Amory to stay. She really helped me out at Enna Palace. And, of course, Soup doing his usual soup stuff. Do as you like. But I'm warning you. Do anything strange and I'll finish you then and there. Uh... Coconut? What's... yeah, what's wrong? You're hunched over like that. Sad... scared... hate... wait... what? This looks like... No way! This isn't happening! Uh, wait, what? What's going on? Tell me this is a joke! Coconut! Get down! Oh, no. She's no longer Coconut? What do you mean? She's... Don't say it. IPD infected... Wait, what? Coconut's an... IPD? Croy. Snap out of it. You know what happens to IPDs. No, I won't let anyone kill her. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell? Coconut was a raven tail? Oh no, the cavalry's come. IPD reaction detected. We're here to- Huh? Captain Leglius? And Croy? What's going on here? Coconut broke out. What's her IPD level? According to Larka's- Lacra's report, she's estimated to be level 7. Level 7? Leave this to us. Thanks. Croy, back away. I won't let you. Croy? What are you trying to? Oh no. I'm sorry, Captain, but I can't do it. I won't let you take Coconut. Listen to me. Calm down and think about it. I don't want to fight you. Oh great, so now we've turned on the Grand Bell. Damn it, Coconut, you better be thanking us later. Uh, oh, this is impossible, and there's no exceptions when it comes to IPDs. No! Four against one? How is this hardly fair? Sorry, Croy. An IPD roaming free can spread the infection. Trying to protect it will only make things worse. Croy, we've seen this too many times. Families trying to protect IPDs getting killed by them from behind. I'm willing to risk that. I will... Rescue Coconut! Ugh, he's serious. You leave us no choice. Um... Oh! Ow! Isn't that a little too much damage? Oh, Jesus Christ! Ow. Oh, my face! My face! Not the face! Anything but the face! He didn't even give me a chance. Stop! If we fight anymore, Croy will really die! Thanks, Amare, but... Oh god, what's gonna happen now? IPD infected body contained. Mission complete. Good job. How's Croy? He woke up during medical treatment, but didn't seem to be aggressive. <laughs> I see. 
All right, everyone aboard. Let's return to the Grand Bell Hall. Oh God, Coconut. No, please don't take my child away. Ooh, I remember this. This is from the beginning of the game. We don't have a choice, ma'am. You should know how dangerous an IPD infected Ravetail is. Child is my precious daughter. Sasha, right? I think that was her name. Take her away. Oof. Yep, Sasha. Ironically, the same name as Little Sasha from the general store. Hmm. I wonder if there's a connection there. No, no. <laughs> Don't worry, no. There isn't a connection at all. Just a coincidence. A dream? Croy, cheer up. It's not like you to be sad for so long. I'm gonna go get some fresh air, okay? Jeez, Luca, it's like you don't even care. You're still acting like this? Come on, pull yourself together already. Jesus Christ, you too, Amory. It's basically my little sister just basically broke down in an uncurable disease, was taken away by the army, I can't do a goddamn thing about it, and all you're doing is sitting there and telling me to get the hell over it? Uh I guess you're really the cowardly type, huh? Oh, that's it! I'm about to stab you through the face with my lance! There's this guy I like. He's nothing like you. His village burned and he lost the woman he loved, but he used that energy to join the Grand Bell. I believe men show their true nature when Brown Moses hits the fan. Eh, Brown Moses? I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what she's trying to say. I, I guess she's trying to say when shit hits the fan. But that was some sort of censoring. I don't even, I don't even know. If you have time to mope, why don't you think about what you can do right now? Look, I understand that I can't really be afforded a spiral into depression. But seriously, you gotta give me a break here. Why do I always say superficial things like that? Why? Oh, hey, Soup. And Amory. Soup! I've been looking everywhere for you. Looks like he really likes you. Maybe you should keep him. I'm sure he'll be happier that way. What? But, but, I, I can't. No, it's fine. We're gonna travel together anyway. And plus, he doesn't need any food, so it's not like I'm pushing him on you. Um, but, is that alright with you, Soup? I'd be happy with that. I think you'll be really nice to me. All right, then. It's nice to have you. Wait, he didn't tell you about all those times I abused him, did he? Because it isn't true. Uh. <laughs> I can see how you would want to see where your boyfriend lives. Well, I get the feeling there's something else going on there, Amory. What do you think of me and Croy? Like, does it look like we're dating? Um, it looks normal. I see. That's fine. I feel a little happier now. Huh? Yeah, huh? What is going on here? I guess I still have a scar in my heart from the time. How pitiful was I? Kasha. Alicia. Captain Leglius, I'm relieved you're safe, especially after hearing you'd gone missing. I'm glad you guys are here. I was afraid I couldn't trust the Grand Bell itself. Honestly, it's a relief. But I was told they weren't able to send any airships from Grand Bell. Containment of level 7 contamination or higher is prioritized over, over all else. You're right. We were worried for your safety too, Captain. I'm relieved to see that you're okay. Ironically, this was only possible due to Kokona's IPD outbreak. Captain, I've never seen such a young child break out with IPD before. Yeah, I feel sorry for Croy, too. By the way, is the Grand Bell Hall alright? 
A wolf thought to be the divine messenger is causing some trouble, but we're managing a defense. A divine messenger? Sounds tough. As soon as we get back to the Grand Bell, we'll, count, we'll guard Chancellor Alfman. You two will support me. Especially since I don't think we can expect Croy to join the battle this time. Prepare yourselves. Oh, speak of the devil. I will support you. Croy, are you alright? Hesitation decides life or death. If you're not completely over it yet. I'm over it. I will do what I can right now. Y are you seriously over it, Croy? This literally happened not even ten minutes ago. Th this is like one of my biggest problems with Croy's personality is that that is something that I would be... I would be totally distraught over that happening, and yet he is, like, totally fine after getting gobsmacked around by Luca and Amory. He's just like, okay, I'm over it. Forget Coconut. I gotta do my job. My job before my friends, family, love, whatever. That's, ah, uh, that just leaves a very, very poor taste in my mouth. We will head into the Imperial Quarters in the depths of the palace. Our goal is to secure the safety of Chancellor Alfman, and to await further orders. Act swiftly. Use your strengths to clear out anyone who stands in your way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now let's go. Kokona has left the group. And with that, we are down to Croy, Leglius, and Omri for the Vanguard, with Lucas still supporting Ravitail. We need to hurry to the Pope's chamber to rescue the Viceroy. So that we will do that next time on Let's Play Artanelico 2. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. See you guys next video.